Uh, Hebrews 13 speaks about uh, loving like brothers, welcoming strangers, uh, being good to those in prison. Psalm 112 speaks about giving to the poor. The trouble is, I've never been poor. Um, I've never been homeless. I've never been a refugee. I've never been in prison. I've never been an asylum seeker. Um, yeah, I've known troubles in my life, um, but I've never known that kind of urgent despair and need, which means, you know, I'm one step away from dropping out altogether. And the danger, therefore, for these scriptures is that I can too easily cast myself as the generous benefactor who looks after the poor rather than actually seeing my own need. And paradoxically, it's only when I know how much I need to receive from others that I might best be able to give generously. But uh, there is one little experience I've had. Uh, when I was a student many, many years ago, at the end of my first year living in halls of residence, I had nowhere to live in the second year. Um, and I was kind of moving from sofa to sofa. I wasn't quite homeless, but it wasn't great. Through a friend of a friend of a friend, this man, a complete stranger, 10 or 15 years older than me, took me and my friend in. He gave us somewhere to stay. We quite liked staying with him and uh, wasn't a great incentive to look for anything else. And after a while, he said, well, you need somewhere to live. Why don't you live here? Uh, he had a house, he lived on his own, he had space. He didn't even charge us anything. He just said, um, you know, pay your bit towards the bills, help with the food. There was one condition actually, which was attendance at Leighton Orient home matches, but that's by the by. He showed me what generosity looked like. I'm not saying I was an angel he entertained, but he showed me what it was to welcome the stranger. And that's something that we need to learn from these scriptures today. Because to the best of my knowledge, that man wasn't a Christian, but he loved like a brother. He was generous to the poor. He got inside the mind of someone who was in need and he gave from the abundance of what he has received. Look out, there's some angels that need entertaining and you might be one of them.